and welcome back to Voyage of a Time Wanderer. It was recently my birthday and my darling sweet husband bought me a book cart! I'm very excited about this and I thought I would make a little video as I set up my book cart and figure out what I want to store in it. I'm thinking I'll probably want to have like my monthly current reads TBR um, a section for my library books because right now they get stacked underneath my nightstand and it's a little chaotic and then maybe move some of my theology books um, from my main bookshelf here so I have a little more space for uh, spreading out my fiction books and keeping my theology books separated out into their own little section so without further ado I'm gonna start building this and take you along with me okay so my plan is to put it like right here beside my piano kind of behind the couch um, so I've got my scissors and, and hopefully this uh, won't be too tricky to put together the color is so pretty oh my goodness I'm so excited Assembled. Got the instruction books here. I am obsessed with the color. It matches like my furniture and kind of decor vibe so well. It's called eucalyptus and I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Kind of like a minty teal eucalyptus color. Is anyone else a total sucker for the little mini tools you get in these kind of furniture kits? Love it. that little pot there that I have a fern in 
It matches it so well. It looks so cute there. And there's an outlet just beyond. So if I wanted to like add a little lamp or something or something needed to charge or plug in, I could do that right there. Okay, I think we all know what's next. I need to get some books and see how they fit. So I just went to the library and picked up a bunch of Jane Austen July books, but I won't be reading them till next month. So library books can go here. Oh, and there is room for it to be double. Yes. And then I've, these are more library books, but these are like my currently reading library books. So I'm going to stick them up here. I've got Death on the Nile. I'm about to start a uh, buddy raid with Lisa. I'm really excited about that. Uh, Montgomery, because something about like the changing of seasons always puts me in the mood for Montgomery. Ben Hur and the Red Tent are holdovers from my May TBR. It may ended up being a bit of a wash of a reading month. I think I only read six or seven books, which was a lot, but there was a lot that I had hoped to get to. So I've just kind of carried them forward into June and haven't haven't really um, done a formal June TBR. So some of these I own and some of these are library books, but this is kind of like what I'm hoping to tackle next. It looks so good. Then I think in the bottom shelf, I'm going to put some of my theology books. I've got this big book of women's saints, um, which I started recently. It's amazing. It's like every day of the year, it's got a female saint to learn about. And it's got like a little bit of her biography. It has a quote, if they have a quote from her, or if not um, a quote that someone else has written about her. And then it has a reflection, which is usually a Bible verse that ties into um, that saint's story or kind of plays off of either some of the virtues they uh, demonstrated or some of the lessons that they learned. So I started this on my birthday so I'm only a couple days in but it's got so many cool saints that I've never heard of before from all different areas of the world and all different time periods. So that's like, I don't know if that's currently reading or um, theology because I am reading a little bit of it every day. I'm gonna stick it up here for now. Oh man, my currently reading is already full. This is another one I got recently. It's holy cards. It's just a bunch of different like vintage holy card images um, and it explains some of the symbolism like uh, different uh, items that they hold or poses kind of what that symbolism meant. The same way you know when you see like statues of monarchs and they're on a horse and it's like oh if this leg is lifted it means they died in battle if this leg is lifted it means it's like a centenary uh, commemoration statue or whatnot it's the same kind of thing so at the back they have this whole like significance of an eagle significance of a hawk significance of the number 15 significance of a frog significance of an open hand versus an extended hand versus a folded hand versus a clasped hand so it, um why the artist at the time chose to illustrate uh, the holy cards in that manner. So this is really fun. I'm hoping it fits down here. Man, I'm gonna have to go buy more of these cards. These are amazing. So I'm gonna move some of my theology books off of that bookshelf and put them here. And then I'm going to bring some of my craft project. I was hoping like I could put current craft projects behind the books. So let's go do that. I was hoping there'd be room for my yarn bowl, but that looks like a bit of a stretch. So I'm gonna have to keep that out for my actual current, current project. But for some of my other projects, like this one I've got tucked away here. This is gonna be perfect back here. I can just like stick it back here. And now everything's super organized. Okay, so that is my current book cart. I've got lots of room here to expand. Uh, I'm loving the idea of having my library books kind of out on display because before I had been storing them on this shelf uh, on the kind of the bottom of my nightstand and then I would forget that I'd like taken this book out of the library until I got the notice that it was already due and I would have forgotten to read it. So it's nice that I can have my library books displayed, um, my like monthly TBRs up at the top here, and then some of my theology books down here. 
uh, and have storage for crafts behind. I think it's perfect. I love the way this book cart looks. I will kind of zoom out and show you how it looks with the piano and everything. Um, but I'm definitely already eyeing another corner of my living room where I'm like, ooh, another book cart could fit in there and give me some more bookshelf space because I have run out completely of bookshelf space and even moving all of these didn't really do much. So um, maybe there will be another book cart video in the future. But for now, I am thrilled with how this looks. It was fairly easy to put together. I think that wasn't too, too bad. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. So. Thank you to my husband for this birthday present, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until next time, enjoy wandering through the pages of a good book. Bye.